Uh, welcome back, everyone, and it's our pleasure to be joined by Daniel Dubov. Well, uh, you must remember him from first appearance in Grand Prix in Moscow, the spectacular game, spectacular matches, full of interesting ideas, Daniel. And this game, I believe, is the follow-up to the same opening played against Nakamura. Yeah, exactly. Also, there was a, s a game against Rothstein in between uh, of the Grand Prix. Ah, so, so, yeah, na I've missed. Yeah, I mean, I played it like two weeks ago or something. So, yeah, Knight A4 is a novelty, I guess, but I mean, obviously, if you play such a line for that long, obviously, I mean, it was not a surprise. And I sort of, I, I actually didn't really get, like, if he was very well prepared or he just started playing some random moves quickly. I mean, I think, like, I'm not sure I managed to play what my notes say, but the general concept was was exactly like this. You play H4, H3, and then the engine says it's not 0, 060 anymore, suddenly 0, 0, 0. Yeah, okay, rook 8, rook e1. It's like all normal uh, t Tarash moves, except yeah. that your pawn is on H3 for some reason. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then H3. Okay, queen d6 is also, I'm not sure it's really good here, but in general it's a basic idea when white plays bishop g5, it's okay to spend two tempests to... Yeah, to get to, rid of the pin. Yeah, to get rid of the pin and to play queen e5. So queen d2, queen e5. It's sort of funny that he probably thought he's much better here. I, I actually thought I have a brilliant version. For instance, here f3, bishop x6, rook a d1, d4. We discussed it briefly. First of all, I don't think I'm forced to play d4. I thought, okay, I mean, it's, it's a reasonable move, but there was also some rook a4. I mean, I can also play it slow, because in general, it, it's not obvious what what white is going to do because i mean whenever you play a four some knight four is coming and even if you will take d5 i will always have a counter play against the king and otherwise you're just a bishop down i don't know anyway d4 looked pretty tempting to me he played a four yeah maybe i should have played queen straight check takes takes and, and i mean again it's funny that the reason i didn't play it was that i thought okay I, like i'm slightly better but in general it should be a draw soon and he probably thought that white is better here. I don't know who yeah, was right. Both were fighting for the victory. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not even about fighting. Okay, I mean, you can fight for victory, mm -hmm. but still try to be adequate. But I mean, here, I, I don't know. I really don't see a way for white to... Cause, I mean, okay, he's a knight is hanging. I mean, whenever you play knight d4, I just take. And I just play rook d8. And basically, whatever happens, like, if you want to play for win, you should try some rook before. But then after rook d2, I mean, I I mean, I mean, failed to, to imagine black being worse. I mean, white is probably just lost. Also, I mean, whenever, let's say, say if something goes wrong, even if I play some random move, some knight move, like knight g4, knight d7, then f6 is coming, and I mean, again, like... And knight g4 doesn't seem to be so random. It's actually, yeah. you, you kind of won the f6. Yeah, but rook d8 is even better. I mean, I just don't know. I thought, okay, white will probably... Maybe knight d4 is stupid, but I thought, like, white will try to simplify it as much as possible. I think he'll, like, take here, and probably, I don't know, like, take. Take here. Then if takes, then rook d3. But, I mean, in, it's not that white is trying to win. It's, like, he, he he's trying to to save it. Yeah, by the most, I don't know, direct moves. Anyway, I played queen b5 because I thought, okay, m maybe I'm not better, but I just thought it's very, very comfortable, and I mean, I didn't want a draw yet, so he took, takes, takes. Yeah, now this bishop b3 was probably a little bit over-optimistic. Yeah, another thing we, we discussed briefly after the game, for instance, is that, yeah, white could try, like, takes, takes, and bishop f4. And he told me uh, after the game that it was his original idea, but he blundered some... I don't know, some uh, tactical motive. But I thought, I in general, even if he starts with bishop f4 here, I thought, yeah, probably uh, I can try to find for a better solution. But in general, even if he gets this position with a bishop on a 4 in instead of a, a pawn on a 4 li like in the game, I thought, still, OK, I'll just play. I thought bishop b3. Then I go rook a4, knight d5. I mean, yeah. everything this is coming. Is and I mean, one, yeah. once again, whenever you play a 4, I'll just go bishop d5. And yeah, I mean. It felt, I, I, I don't think I'm much better, but it felt like extremely comfortable. I mean, I just, I didn't care at all, to be honest. And yeah, in the game, bishop b3 was probably kind of inaccurate, because rook d3 is a very strong move, and then, yeah, then it's suddenly, I thought it's suddenly for the first time is black, who, who has to be a little bit precise. Because, for instance, if white plays rook d2, then... The, the, the difference is that I have rook a4, 
And then whenever you go, there is 94. And I mean, okay, it feels extremely unpleasant. I mean, it's probably just b bad for white, but I mean, at least after 94, it's much easier to play for black. And I mean, okay, he he's definitely better. Uh, I don't know how much. But rook d3 is a very strong move, because after rook a4, there is queen c3, and I'm not in time to get this 94. Because I was trying to make some brilliant like lines work like this and some rook takes it too in some lines. Too, some yeah, 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 but it never works. I mean, the main problem is that whenever you do it, there is always rook d check and queen d3 check. I mean, it's, uh, even if one all the of, other stuff works. Yeah, I mean, it's one of probably quite a big number of reasons not to do it, but it's the most obvious one. Yeah, and after rook d3, I thought, okay, I mean, uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not better anymore for sure. I played bishop c4 and offered a draw. I mean, again, like my, my point uh, was not that I'm worse or something, but I mean, I, I just thought, okay, like I need to, yeah, I need to admire something went wrong. I mean, again, I was not even sure about rook d8, to be honest. Even th this posi position, like, takes, I was wondering about it for quite a long time. I mean, I still failed to come to any conclusion, but in general, I mean, I just couldn't understand how you can lose it with black, to be honest. Like, you just go bishop a6 and you start attacking b2 pawn. For instance, some, and so uh, for yeah. instance, some rook d2 always runs into queen a5. Some knight g4 is coming, so I mean, you'll probably take just in case, yeah, and then you'll, I don't know, some bishop f3 or something, but then, okay, queen c5, queen c2. I mean, I just couldn't understand what's going on, but at least I thought probably... Although I was not sure, but I thought probably white can never be worse here. And after bishop c4, I thought it's sort of a little bit more ambitious for black. Now, we we were told after the game as that some weak engine says rook d2 and white is better. I don't know, but obviously, like, after the, the previous line, you can understand that I thought that at least I can play rook d8 here. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not... Yeah, probably the engine is stupid. Probably I'm wrong, I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, it was not obvious. And rook c3 felt felt yeah sort of you know felt very, very ambitious yeah and very it, forcing it yeah yeah sure you have to take but it takes, takes it was my original idea in general that okay you take anyways this pawn on h3 is uh, yeah quite a strong argument he knows the lines yeah and that was basically one of my ideas because when i offered to draw i actually c uh, calculated all the stuff queen takes f6 and i was pretty sure i said okay i have a very big number of moves here and bishop d3 I, I like the most. <laughs> yeah, there was a very big number of moves. Yeah, oh. bishop d3 was also possible indeed. And question, queen, I mean, queen I, b2, there was some refutation to queen b2? I mean, it's, there is not, it's not yeah. about, yeah, so in the game I'm basically forcing a draw. And queen b2, yeah, I don't know, I didn't like that some, yeah, some bishop d5 will work at some point. But in general, like, yeah, my feeling here was that, okay, suddenly I'm down to like less than 20 minutes probably and i felt like it's my only problem i was pretty sure that uh, i'm not yet down to only moves or something but i just thought okay let's try to let's try to calculate something and basically force the draw because i mean like otherwise i didn't want to do something in time trouble because in general i had a very I, I was not even sure for instance if i go rook a to d8 like what do you really want i mean queen g5 check is never is never uh, you know you uh, you never try to win it yeah i mean okay bishop i don't know random square with the pawn on h2 i always have rook e1 rook e2 and and the perpetual like in the game this is why you, you need the pawn on h3 yeah i mean like i didn't really see what is his threat or something i thought okay after rook d8 probably i will in some lines i will run into some rook e3 and d8 will be d8 hanging also still i don't see how exactly it will work, but okay, I don't know, probably. In bishop f3, I think it's just a draw by force, because, yeah, I thought rook e5 is his only try. Yeah, takes, 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 takes e6, yeah. I mean, again, I'm not sure that queen d5 is the only move, but I thought, okay, I mean, it's rock solid. Good but, enough. Yeah. yeah, I mean, let's just play it. So in the game, he, he took queen takes f7, yeah, and, yeah. and there was a perpetual. Yeah, I thought, like, his last, I mean, not even attempt, but he can go for this. And then after rook d8, That's he has this rook f3 check. King, I don't know, somewhere. And king g1, and then I'll play rook d1, rook d2. But no, okay, yeah. I mean, okay. so far I'm capable of doing this stuff. So, I mean, he, he took with the queen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was definitely a very important game for the whole line. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We, we need to check. I don't have a feeling like uh, something was wrong with, I don't know, with my um, yeah. outcome of the opening, at least. So, it, is, it was... Uh, very, very important game for the opening line, but it wasn't a critical test. Let's put it yeah, this way. Black seems to be very solid. Mm. Yeah.